Hallelujah. Good morning. February 4th. Uh, Proverbs chapter 4. Some of the guys are a little bit under the weather. Uh, let's see. Proverbs chapter 4. Four, today's the fourth, so 13 more days before I get to go to Israel with the best pastor on the island, Pastor Kevin Akana, and another brother. We're going to go over to Israel and uh, make peace between the uh, Palestinians and the Israel, 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 uh, Israel, the Jews. Uh, not all of them, just like six, six each. We'll have some, uh, <laughs> go have some. We'll eat with, with six of them or so. Uh, Proverbs chapter 4. Keala, would you like to open us in prayer, please? What did you think of this day? Uh, help us to um, uh, help us to understand your word, Lord. Help us have a good day today at school or at work, Lord. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Proverbs chapter 4. Hero sons, the instruction of a father. I'm a father. And give attention that you may gain understanding. For I give you sound teaching. Do not abandon my instruction. The way you know I'm giving you sound teaching. A teaching is it's coming right out of the Word of God, right? You're up, warrior. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the <coughs> sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words. Keep my commandments and live. Amen. Keep my commandments and live. Come on, you ready? Yeah. Uh, Too small to groups. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still never get product glasses yet. I don't eat. <laughs> don't eat. I just want five. I just want a hospital. Five, brother. Make enough plain glass. There you go. Fluorescent lights, color of the pink. Good Make morning, it. sister. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. I turned her up a little. Odd wisdom. Morning. Proverbs 4. Proverbs 4, we're on verse 5 right now. God's wisdom. Our understanding. Indeed. Oh, Did you see that? Yeah. Good one. Get wisdom. Get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. What verse was that? that was five Shelly, you're on seven. Kiala, you're up. You're up, Kiala. What verse is <clears throat> Eight. Nine. She will place on your head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. She will deliver you, deliver to you. Hear, my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of your life will be many. Eleven, brother. I have taught thee <clears throat> in the way of wisdom. Now let the right pass. The upright paths? No. Or right paths? Right paths. Okay. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be strained. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. 
will not stumble. You stay, uh, you stay in the Word of God, and uh, no matter what the path, what, whatever twists and turns the path has in it, you ain't going to stumble. Take hold of instruction, do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked, and do not proceed in the way of evil men. Don't hang around evil people. Don't get in their way. Don't get in their path. 15, brother. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief. Mm. And their sleep is taken away, mm. unless they cause some to fall. Yep, there's, there's guys that... Uh, they're not happy unless they, there's, there's friends of yours out there that if you run into them and you tell them how you're doing and where you're at and that you're in the Word, the first thing they're going to do is try to make you stumble, try to hold you back. Not because they, um, they care what path you're on, but because they, they're kind of jealous of what you're up to. And they're, they're envious of what you guys are up to, and that's why you guys can have an influence on, uh, you know, once you get strong in the word, you'll be able to have influence on people. Come, are you going to read or Shelly? Shelly, you're up. What number is that? 18 and 19. 18 and 19. No, how's it 18? Oh, 17 and 18. Seven, 17 and 18. <laughs> oh, okay. For they eat of the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence, but the path of the just is at the shining light. Find that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The That's way it. of the wicked wait, 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 wait. 18, that's one of the, uh, that's one of the scriptures I got when I named uh, Keala O Kamaliu. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn that shines brighter and brighter until the full of day. Keala's name means uh, the path made bright. Keala O Kamaliu is the path made bright by a light that pierces darkness. And this is one of the scriptures when I was trying, praying over Keala's name. Uh, month or so before he was born. This is one of the scriptures I came up with. Go ahead, son, 19. The way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my saying. Brian, you're up. Which one? 21. 21, Brian. Let them not depart. From the, the iron. Keep them in the midst of thy shining heart. For they are life unto those who find them, and health to all their flesh. Is that 21 and 22, bro? Yes. Yeah. For they are life to those who find them, and health to all their body. God, the word of God is medicine to your body. It's the word of God that's had you off, uh, had you off, held off for how long now? A month. A month or so. It's only getting better, bro. It's only getting better. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, where am I at? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Watch over your heart with all diligence. It requires diligence to keep your heart from going astray. It requires diligence to have your. Uh, have your, have not have your heart drawn away back into the old stuff. It doesn't just come easy, it, take, it requires diligence, yeah? You have to be diligent. Put away from you a deceitful mouth. What's a deceitful mouth? Yeah, it tells lies. A deceitful mouth tells lies. Kelly, you need to sit up, son. And put devious speech far from you. Right, we gotta watch our mouths. The, the, the uh, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yeah. Twenty-five, bro. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. There you go. Don't be getting distracted. Keep your eye on the prize. 
Look straight ahead. Don't let all the shiny things on the left and the right draw you away. Yeah? Watch the path of your feet and all your ways will be established. The Bible says that uh, the Word of God is a light unto your, uh, light unto your path. Stay in the Word of God and you, you, you know, you can't go wrong. You fall down, you get back up again. Okay? Shelly, you got the last verse? Turn off to the right hand, not to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Keep your path on the straight and narrow. That's what I get from that. Okay. Well, we're going to keep it short and sweet this morning because uh, my wife's got to dig out. My grandson's got to go to school. we got some windows to put in today. And uh, uh, we're going to... Use the restroom. Sorry? Use the restroom. Sure, bro. Go right ahead. we got some pallets. We're going to make some uh, garden bed planters for the garden up here. I thought you got to use the restroom. Bro. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff to do today. We praise God for uh, it's not pouring today. Uh, so let me close us in prayer. Or right, I tell you what, sis, can you can you close us in prayer, Sister Shelley? got a minute Shelly I want to talk to you yeah um, yes. okay uh, well thank you guys God bless you Aloha. 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 Aloha.